uh, and come one, come all As these sisters show you some people that's grinding and standing tall Highlighting the struggle as you waiting patient just to make it Debating your body aching, you're pacing for it to bubble We all, we all, we all a village so it's time to huddle We gotta come together and power us through the hustle Yeah, and together we fall So I'ma hold my brother and my sister up while we all on the come up Why we all on the come up? Why we all on the come up? Oh, welcome. Come on in, have a seat. We would like to welcome you to on the come up. My name is Janine. I'm Michelle. I'm Quinny. And on this show, we like to highlight individuals who are trailblazing in their career. Mm. So today we have a very special guest for our very first show. He's a comedian on the rise, and he's super, super funny. Yes. Three reasons why he's on the come, come up. up. Number one, he's only been out here less than a year, and he's already signed to one of the top agencies out here, guys. Impressive. We get his app impressive. on to him. Impressive. Impressive. Number two, it looks like he has booked a feature role in Maroon 5's new video as well. So congratulations Ooh, big to time. Yes. So Excuse please me. give a warm welcome to our first guest, Tunji Akinduro. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Nah, thank y'all for having me. Nah, thank y'all for having me. I look great, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's why I can't. I knew it. I knew it. Green and white. I'm Nigerian, so it makes sense. Oh, you get what I'm saying? I'm not a Celtic fan. Please. Speaking of Nigeria, yes. How does your cultural background influence your comedic stand-up? Man, it really influences my comedic stand-up because it helps me tell a story that. I feel like everyone can relate to in another way, form, or fashion. You might not be Nigerian, but you might be Mexican, you might be Jamaican, but we've all gone through the same mm -hmm. thing where you might not have any money, but your parents are telling you, no, you can't get shoes. And I think I like telling the story because it reminds people that, for me, it reminds people that, yo, you came from somewhere, but mm -hmm. you should be proud of it. Because as much as I hated being African when I was younger, I love it now because I know where I come from. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's now, I've had the luxury of seeing you live on stage, and you've told some incredible stories. You Man. mind sharing just like a quick little Man. moment? It better be funny. <laughs> I mean, you're a comedian, right? That, that I mean, awkward like, moment with lights on and yes, everything. Yeah, it's like, why Let's go. Just, Let's you go. know, see what you can do. Okay. Um, you know, for me, what's, what's so interesting now, I am 28 years old. So, you know, seeing my mom she really wants me to get married. You know, I'm the oldest of everyone. So right now we're going through the, the transition of her understanding that I might not just only want to date an African girl. You know, I, I, I don't, I don't, you know, I go to the candy store. I get a lot of different flavors. Nice. You know what I mean? But my mom already has who she wants for me. She has a picture of Lupita on her. Oh. She, she's already, you know, there's no shade to Lupita, baby. I love see her. you. I, I yeah, love her. You, you know what I mean? Yes. But if you look at the both of us together, we're a little too dark. You know what I mean? I, I mean, look, it's like a black vortex next to each other. I, 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 I'm wearing this bright color. We always gonna wear fluorescent colors all the time and whatnot. But yeah, I, I, I think my mom will understand that. You know, it's a lot of stories, even from growing up, not having money for shoes. You know, I'm the oldest of four, so you can imagine it's weird that you would think that I would have shoes, but my younger ones would always have shoes. And I really think my dad wanted me to be like a social misfit because they would have the Jordans and the Dion's and everything. But he would try to play me and give me some Payless shoes or something like that, going some to the eighth grade. Trappies. Right, yes. the, the LA gear lights. Yeah. You touch it and it start lighting up the window. Start lighting up. Oh, they don't respect my social life, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, it's it's, it's so hilarious. many stories that I, I that I have, but I love it just because it's helped me to teach me how to hustle even more. So Ooh. we actually have a clip. We have a little uh, clip that we have yeah, here of you um, doing your thing. What is this from Revolt TV? Oh, I'm gonna need oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a talk. That 
awkward moment when you didn't know that it was about to happen. And you know, you can't lie about something, so there's nothing to lie about, so I was going through things at that time. No, but that, that right there just shows the beginning process of me understanding that, like, where I wanted to go mm -hmm. as a host, as a comedian, mm -hmm. uh, on their personality and everything like that, so... Y'all, that was like two years ago, like a yeah, year and a half, so, two years ago before yeah. I came to California. Early so, so, so you said that you started in October, so it hasn't even been a year yet that you've been in the mix of the whole yeah. and swing of things. What makes you, what motivates you to work so diligently? Mm, it's only know. been a few months and you've done so many things thus far. So where does that motivation come from? I can honestly say, you know, one, my faith in God. Nice. You know what I mean? Because I know that it's been so many opportunities that I've been given just because of his favor. Yes. Mm -hmm. But just because I know what I want to win, I came out here focused. You know, mm -hmm. I, I've done it on the East Coast already, so I know what exactly what I want and how I'm going to go get it. But I think it's, you know, I'm a hustler. Mm -hmm. So it's like I'm not I'm not about to stop and nobody's going to stop me. Nice. You know what I mean? As long as God is on my side, I know I'm going to win. Absolutely. And where in the East Coast are you from? I'm from Maryland. D.C. Hey. Maryland. Oh. Oh. Shout out. Hey, 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 hey. Hello. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we have a segment that we like to call our mm-hmm moment of the day. Okay, so let's go. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So during this time is when we ask you a question. Okay. And you have to respond with your level of mm-hmm. Okay. So an example that we'll provide you. Uh, scientists say that girls with natural hair have low self-esteem. Mm-hmm. In other news, we still beautiful. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna ask you a question. You respond with your level of mm hmm. Okay, I'm about to focus. I'm gonna focus. focus. Lock in. Is it true that big boys do it better? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know about them, but I know for a fact, you know, when I, when I put mine down, you know, I ain't gonna lie to kick it, you know. I am African, you know, I live up to the stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> I ain't got a lot of kicking, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll leave that right there. Right, right, right there. there. Right there. <laughs> um, so before we let you go, yeah. um, really quickly, if you had one comedian that you could interview or talk to, um, who would it be and why? Man. If I could, it would probably be... Eddie Murphy, but in the 80s. Mm. And the reason why is because I feel like Eddie Murphy was the first comedian to really break through from the movie side, stand-up side, but he did it on all levels. So he did it from television with SNL, mm -hmm. he did it on the movie side, and he did it on the national side with Raw and everything like right. that. So I would ask him, I would really interview him and ask him like, what it takes, because I think you have to be in a mental different place to be able to hold on to all that. Because during that time, you couldn't tell him nothing. I mean, he was wearing leather sweatsuits or whatever right. it was. Yes. You know, he was. Probably free balling, but no judgment ah, here. Yeah. You know what I mean? But <laughs> I definitely would interview him just because he's a legend. You know yeah. what I mean? And his influence on what he talked about. He talked about his real life and what he saw around him. And his character game is crazy. Like, yeah. I, I idolize his character game. He's a genius at it. How can you have a table full of seven people and each person has their own individual. That's true. That's true. You know what I mean? It takes it's an art. Yeah. So I respect it. Yeah. Absolutely. That would be him. He was like one of the first like comedic rock stars. Yeah. Like he legit. Wow. Legit. Yeah, that's and dope. That's the goal. That's awesome. that's that that the makes goal. sense. Well look, we really want to thank you for coming by, being on my very first episode. Yeah, I'm yeah, coming I see that. I know <laughs> 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 yeah. you have great things in store for you. Nothing yeah. but the, the stars on up for you, man. For thank sure. You. Congratulations. Can you let everyone know where we can find you? Oh, like, man. Let me do my social media. It's it's Tunji. I know y'all don't know how to spell Tunji, so look. It's I T S T U N J I. That's on Twitter and Instagram. You wanna follow me on Snapchat too, is oh, T U N J I D A K. Uh, on Facebook is Tunji Akinduro. Uh, T U N J I Akinduro, A K I N D U R O. You can see me at your local comedy spot. You can see me probably throwing your next party. You can just see me with your next chick if you're not my oh, right. Ooh. It's like, it's like, cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's it. You can find me there. All right. But thank you, everybody, and including Tunji, for stopping past on the come up. Up. <laughs> I just hope I don't lose though. street cred because it's like, <laughs> bruh, you just yeah, over here to come up. Yeah, but I, I like that. <laughs>
extension of yeah. it, y'all accentuate it. And now it's time for the gym of the day. Hold on, what's the gym of the day? Put your glasses on. Because you guys know what the gym of the day is. The gym of the day is where we provide historical information pertaining to the day's guest. Hey, ah, that's cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't remember, but I'll, I'll put the glasses on. Okay. Okay. Today's gym of the day is Robin Harris. He was a Chicago-based comedian, and he won audiences over with his witty satire. He could be seen in such films as Do the Right Thing, House Party, and Baby's Kids. Ooh. Fun fact, ladies, that was actually the first animated film with an all-black cast. Oh, nice. nice, right? Wow. So thank you, Robin Harris, for blazing the trail for comedians such as Tunji. And we'll see you next time on The, the Come, Come Up. up. The, the Come, Come Up. up.